Welcome to the WIHS Journal. On the broadcast with us today is Dr. Gary Jenkins. Today we'll be talking about his ministry now that is in Texas. He now goes under the ministry called Gospel America Network or Eagles Wings International. Uh, great to have your voice on the line again with us here at WIHS. Hello, Anissa, and all of my WIHS friends. Uh, I miss you, and uh, it's good to be on the line with you. Well, uh, you know what? We'll miss you when um, there's snow here and there's not there in Texas, that's for sure. <laughs> but So now, you know, I, I realize here that you are involved a lot of uh, ministries, and a lot of them are, are media ministries, which is you know, important right now, especially what's going on right now with the pandemic. So um, your newest ministry is Eagles Wings International Ministries. So tell us about that. Okay. Well, as you know, we moved from Connecticut to Texas in 2015. Uh, We were, we spent about a year shutting down the ministry in Connecticut and reemerging it into a new ministry in Texas. So we decided after prayer that we needed to just just uh, make our relocation in Texas. So we did that in 2015, and we opened up Eagles Wings International Ministries about a month after I got here, really. We rented a hotel a space, a, a meeting room in a hotel. We had ser- service there for a year. Then we went to the Ministerial Alliance of San Angelo, had uh, held our services in their building for a year. And then uh, the third year that we were here, we were able to purchase our own building and have services uh, at the Eagles Wings International Ministries. Wow. Praise God. You know, like I said, those little steps, and all of a sudden now you're in your own building again. Uh, It's amazing uh, what God has done since we've been here. Uh, He has uh, blessed us to begin operating uh, a new worldwide Christian television network called the Gospel America Network Channel. We are broadcasting 24 hours a day, every day, streaming worldwide on Roku and Amazon Fire TV, uh, as well as online. People could watch us on their tablets, their smartphones, or on television, or they can watch on their on their computers. So what kind of stuff do you actually do there uh, on the Gospel Channel? We produce our own programs. We also receive programs from other broadcasters. And then on occasion, we will edit and produce, help them produce their own programs. Uh, we are, we're launching a nationwide advertising campaign. We just had Fox put together a television commercial for us, and you're going to be seeing more of that. Uh, but anyway, we are excited about the new adventure that the Lord has uh, placed us on. Uh, So Gospel America, again, it's the nation's newest worldwide streaming Christian television network. If you're familiar with TBN, that'll give you an idea of what we do. We we have programs, a much smaller scale, of course, but we have programs. uh, Pastors can preach the gospel on television. Uh, they can send us their videos, and those videos will be aired all over the world, as well as right here, uh, coast to coast in, in the United States. That's awesome. So you you kind of like a, have a big network then of pastors that do uh, interactive stuff with you? Yeah, well, they most of the programs are, are pre-recorded. On occasion, we may do something live, but most of it is, is pre-recorded, and we, we air it on our live channel, and then on the... Uh, We also place programs on video on demand, so anybody can watch it at their leisure whenever they're ready. Our mission is to create an affordable platform for pastors to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This is a ministry. It's not a secular television network. This is a a television ministry. I've been in television for over 40 years, and God has blessed me to acquire a lot of experience experience working with local stations. We were at uh, WTNH Channel 8 uh, as the morning anchor down there uh, for three years. We were at WGGB Channel 40 up in Springfield for, I believe, a couple of years. uh, We've done special features 
that aired both on ABC News and as well as NBC. Awesome, awesome. And if you're just tuning in, uh, this is uh, Gary Jenkins. He's the Ministry of uh, Eagles Wings International Ministries down in Texas, and also he does the the Gospel Channel. And if a pastor was, you know, in tuned and, and really interested in getting their, um, you know, their ministry out there, can you just provide the website for them? Sure, absolutely. It's the Gospel America Network, and it's www.gospelamerica.net. Uh, our network is pretty much going viral, so we're going to run out of space. Uh, in, you know, in a few months or so. So uh, now's the time for pastors to get on board. It's very, very affordable, and we'd love to talk to you. I also want to know, because you know, now we are in this time of uh, COVID-19 and, and, you know, this quarantine, and I know a lot of people are switching to multimedia, so I know that I was perusing the other night, and I saw you guys live on Facebook, so maybe listeners like to hear about, you know, that they can go for free um, and watch you on Facebook. So tell us more about that. Okay. On Facebook, we do several things. We have a prayer line Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday nights. Uh, that's 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. So your time is, comes on at 9 p.m. Uh, and then on uh, Wednesday nights, we have a live internet interactive Bible study on Facebook. That starts at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern. And then on Sunday mornings, we we're broadcasting our our worship services uh, on Facebook, and that's, of course, at 11 o'clock. So we thank God for this. Again, uh, social media is a great tool uh, to use to the glory of God. So, yes, we are ministering on Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, as well as Gospel America. So, so how do they, um, on fa- I know how, but so can you tell us what people would have to look up on, on Facebook to find you? Yes. Sure. Go to Dr. Gary L. Jenkins on Facebook. That's my page. We're trying to direct people to the the Eagles Wings Facebook page. We're connecting both pages anyway. So just look up Gary Jenkins on Facebook. You'll see uh, th- there's several of us, but my page is Dr. Gary L. Jenkins uh, on Facebook. Uh, we have a Facebook page for Gospel America. We have one for Eagles Wings as well. We had so many friends in Connecticut, and I really don't want to lose contact with with all of them. And we certainly hope that we can stay in touch with you and Jerry and all the other folks at WIHS as well, because uh, I miss doing the prayers with you know, on on the station. Uh, that was really uh, an awesome experience. Yes. Well, anyone who knows Facebook, we know how to find you. So. <laughs> let's just, you know, let, let's uh, reassure you about that. So I so enjoyed hearing how God has taken you from glory to glory. But any details that I missed that you would like to um, let our listeners know? Do you think we touch on everything? Well, one thing I want to remind people that are interested in the Gospel America channel, you can download our app from the Apple App Store or from Google Play, and you can watch all of our programs that way as well. Please download our app. And to all of our pastor friends in in, uh, Connecticut uh, that have not joined the Gospel America channel, come on out and and join us. I'll be more than happy to work with you to do whatever it takes to help you get your broadcast on the air. This is the age of streaming, folks. All of the big boys, NBC, CBS, ABC, TBN, all of them are streaming. And I'm happy to say we joined that streaming platform at the ground level. We're running very successfully with it. And you will find that the Gospel America Network channel will be a blessing to your church, your ministry. You don't have to be a pastor. If you have any kind of ministry, certainly you can be a part of this. Once again on the broadcast with us was Dr. Gary Jenkins. His ministry goes by several names. One of them is Gospel America Network or Eagles Wings International. For more details, give WIHS a call 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily those of the staff and management of a station. I'm Anissa Supportichelli. The WIHS Journal is public affairs from WIHS Middletown, Middletown.